Hey, Joe Zarzer here. Uh, my voice, trust me, it's not the, your device or your volume or your anything on your audio end. It's, uh, it's my voice. It's a little bit shot. I, I had some kind of uh, bronchitis or something last week and sinus infection, whatever it is. But it, it, anyway, it's slowly getting better. The only thing remaining is this weird raspy voice. Anyway, long and short, uh, I, there was a subject I wanted to talk about, and that is some, I've had a lot of uh, potential clients call me in the last several weeks, uh, several months. Uh, they uh, were persuaded by advertisements to hire uh, a firm uh, to help them in their case, and then they realized that they might have made a mistake. Um, a lot of the problems they're having uh, initially with the firm is communication with the lawyer. They can't get the lawyer on the phone. And a lot of these potential clients uh, are asking me what are their options because they don't know and they're not getting information from their lawyer about what's going on with their case or their loved one's case, if a death case. <clears throat> some, some, some firms are, are scooping up any and all cases they possibly can gather and then they're, they're not equipped to handle them and the lawyers aren't able to talk to the clients. Uh, so they assign case managers to talk to the client and the case manager obviously is not a lawyer many times. And so the, the, they're not getting uh, the legal advice that they need in a timely manner. So what are your options as a person that may have hired a firm to help them and you don't feel like you're getting what you need out of the firm that you hired and you're having second thoughts? Well, first of all, if it's within three days, you don't have to even tell the law firm anything. You have the absolute right within three days of signing a contract to, to uh, terminate the contract with absolutely zero repercussions to you as the client. So you have a three-day grace period for to do whatever you want. And I would encourage you if you are hired a firm and then in the first three days you're already having second thoughts, you need to take action. Okay. Now, every day that happens after that is potentially a day where the law firm is going to do something that's going to make your case more valuable. If the law firm is able to do something to make your case more valuable, then they're going to take, they're going to take the position that you owe them some portion of the fee. And the longer it goes from the date you signed the contract with that firm until you make a decision to change firms, if you do, the more likely it's going to be that they've done something to make your case more valuable. And uh, to, to, uh, most cases, I would say, within the first couple of weeks to a month, there's not gonna be a lot done other than getting a lot of health insurance information. And I said health insurance. Getting a lot of auto, automobile coverage information from the other parties. So usually within the first 30 days, all that's happened is there's gonna be letters out uh, preserving evidence, letters out to the various automobile insurance companies requesting their insurance policies. Aside from that, within the first 30 days, there's not a lot happening. Now, sometimes that's enough, though, to get a case settled, just showing up. So it all is going to depend on the kind of case, what are the damages, how much coverage is available. So the purpose of me making this video is to make sure everybody understands that you do have the right to consult with other lawyers just and just because you've hired one firm to help you that doesn't prevent you from asking another lawyer a second uh, about a second opinion um, and if you're having trouble communicating with the lawyer that you just hired or you notice you're having trouble communicating with the lawyer that you hired you should probably give that law firm notice that you're having issues and get it resolved and if you can't get it resolved it's probably a good sign or a sign that you need to get out of that situation as soon as possible. And you're going to have more mobility in hiring a different firm and more ability to hire a different firm the less time you waste trying to salvage uh, that relationship if it's not one you can fix. My first advice is to fix it, okay, for, for sure. If you can fix the relationship you have with your lawyer, you should. But if you're not getting anywhere, then you shouldn't waste a lot of time deciding on what to do about that. If you have questions about a case where you've hired a firm and you're not feeling uh, the attention that you're, you, you uh, consider your case deserves, you can find us on the web at Zarja Law. We're happy to talk to you about it some more. 
or you can call us at 855-HIRE-JOE. Thank you.